I know it's a lack of options right now. Like, we really only have three maps so far in this beta. We have Favela, we have Skid Row, and we have Estate. Rust is not here yet, and I guess we don't get High Rise until Weekend 2. I guess we'll get Rust on Saturday or some shit. But anyway, so we basically have the three maps, right? So I know there's a lack of options there, but this beta leaves me with the same question I used to ask people all the time back in the OG Modern Warfare 2 days. How do y'all keep, like, these every single time? How do y'all keep voting for motherfucking Estate, man? If it's up against Favela, most of the time Estate is getting voted in. If it's up against Kid Row, most of the time Estate is get. I just, I don't get it, man. Now, everybody who I ever talked to about it, they always told me, well, they love SND, and Estate is great for SND. SD is not in this beta, bro. Everybody just keeps voting for it. I don't understand it. Like the snipers, they're loving the state, man. I just, my game's later on in my session. Holy fucking shit, bro. I was getting sniped more on a state in Modern Warfare Deuce and Half than they did in OG Modern Warfare 2, man. We all know how crazy the snipers were in OG Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, the snipers are out of control here. And as you can see from the opening clip, the connections have been absolutely wonderful over here in Modern Warfare Deuce and Half. If that was the first time that that's happened, I would not put it in the video. But that's like the fourth or fifth time it's happened to me in about 10 to 15 games is what I got on the game so far. I don't want to hear shit about this being only a beta. You are a beta. An ultimate beta. You are the alpha beta if you run in here telling me that this is just a beta. This is a demo, dude. This is what the game looks like. That's number one. Number two, this is what a beta is for, though. You have to give feedback, and the connections have been a problem over here, man. So that's what I'm doing with that clip. That's why we're talking about it for a second. We're just making a little bit of noise about how bad the connections have been, at least I've noticed for me. Anyway, this is what this is for, man. We're, it's feedback, though, right? Like, these nerds get so sensitive about a motherfucking video game, dude. This shit is comical. So in my video yesterday, I was pretty positive about what I saw. What I saw at the COD Next event, the little bit of leaked gameplay the night before, and even zombies to an extent, but not really. But overall, I was pretty positive about the game. I dropped some concerns that I have, just a few examples. Not everything that I'm worried about with this game, but I dropped a few of those in the video. But I also said I can't say anything for sure until I get my hands on the game. Alright, so we in here now. I got my hands on the game. There are still some positives here, but a lot of that positivity... Yeah, that shit changes right now. All right, so keep in mind, we are not on new gen console for this one. I don't have a PS5. I am on the PS4 Pro. So keep that in mind for everything I'm going to say in this video. I guess a lot of you are wondering about the skill-based matchmaking. Dude, it's it's a beta. It's a demo. These things are always sweaty as hell. It's really hard to tell what the matchmaking is like until we get our hands on the full game. But it's been a mixed bag, kind of like the game itself. It's been up and down. Like my first two games, you guys are seeing my very first game on this beta in this video. My first two games, I had real strong games. My third game was my first rage quit. Everybody camping and sniping on a state. And then I got a few real sweaty games. I had a couple of real strong games after that and then the rest of them were just you know sweaty campy as hell just you know the type of people that they got a bunny hop around every corner like they bunny hop aim down sight and they just do like a quick scan and then they'll booty slide bunny hop aim down sight do a quick scan all those types of nerds ttv in their name yt like all over the place like just the sweatiest nerds you've ever seen in your life but then you'll see them straight up camping in the most ridiculous spots ever on favela and shit. And it's like, they'll do anything for their streaks, anything for a KD, anything for gameplay, for an upload. They don't care how they got it. They just want that score at the end of the game so they can post it up to YouTube or whatever and pretend like they're a beast. 
Even though people are going to see them camping their ass off in the gameplay, they don't give a shit. They just want that score, man. That's what it's all about. But I've been able to breathe in some of these lobbies, and I haven't been able to say that about all these Call of Duty betas and demos. Usually they're sweaty as fuck from the first game until you're done. Until you put the controller down, you shut that bitch off, you've had enough. I've actually been able to breathe in some of these lobbies. So it's, like I said, it's like a mixed bag, man. It's almost like they turn it on and turn it off in between games or some shit like that. If they decide to turn it on, it's like it's time for you to have a sweaty game or two. They turn it on, and then they'll turn it off. You know, after that sweaty game or after two sweaty games, maybe three sweaty games, they'll turn it off and you'll just have a lobby where you can breathe, where your bullets will hit a little bit better. The hit detection. The hit detection feels extremely inconsistent and it's rubbing off on the time to kill, man. The time to kill, I feel like in some spots, it's too slow. Like when I was watching the gameplay yesterday, it seemed like it was very comfortable. It's feeling like it's a little bit too slow, but sometimes I'm like, I'm melting people. Other times I'm like, Bro, I'm out of bullets. All those hit markers and dude is still up. Now I'm reloading and his homie comes up and shoots me in the back. It's like they're just eating bullet after bullet to shoot first and die. It's very real in this game, but it's not as bad as Modern Warfare 2019. I could say that with proper confidence. It's bad in this game to shoot first and die, but it's not as bad as what we've seen in Modern Warfare 2019. I've definitely noticed some audio glitches, even some texture glitches as well, too. I might put a clip in here just showing you what I'm talking about. It's kind of like, remember Cold War? Because Cold War was such a rush game. Treyarch took over that shit hella late. Remember when we used to boot up on D Machine or even some of the multiplayer maps? Like, it would just, it looked like you're playing a Nintendo 64 game. Yeah, that's definitely very noticeable over here. I think this might be the worst game we've played so far. Just trying to figure out who's your teammate. Like, I'm constantly shooting at my teammates. My teammates are lighting me up. I'm trying to run past them. Like, I already realized that my teammate is my teammate, right? So I'm running past him. I'm trying to show him, like, look, dude, I'm a friendly. And he's just using up his whole mag, just spraying me down. <laughs> like, he had, he, he straight up thought I was an enemy. Teammates are constantly shooting at me, shooting at other teammates. I've been shooting at my own teammates. I don't know what it is. Like, their name, it's, it takes a little while to pop in. So they look straight up like an enemy. Now, we have suffered from this in Cold War, Vanguard at times, and shit like that, too. But I never felt like I struggled like I have so far in this beta. Like, you'll see me in the gameplay just shooting at my teammates sometimes, man. Because you literally can't tell they look like an enemy the gun balance feels off i know we're in the first day of the beta but it needs to be said the only time i've had a strong game yet is when i've used the i think they call it the mcw in this game which is the acr the, that's the only time i feel like i can compete is when i'm using that gun anytime i've switched and experimented with other guns so far i just do i can't put in any work i just get hit marker after hit marker after hit marker chances are they are using the acr and i'm just dead or i might kill one but now the mini map works so dude's got me on a radar and i'm just <laughs> they gunning me down right like the only time i've been able to compete and put up strong games so far is when i've been using the default it's the first class you get for the acr and then you have the shotgun secondary but the shotgun has been inconsistent as fuck as well too i might actually put a clip in here it makes me look terrible but it is what it is man i run into this dude the shotgun on that first default class has been pissing me off man it doesn't want to shoot sometimes when you want to shoot it i ran into this enemy right like i said i'll probably put the clip in here i ran into this enemy and i think i was streaking and i'm mashing on the button to shoot the shotgun straight up will not shoot. I finally shoot it. I get a hit marker. Dude is pretty close to me. I get a hit marker. At that point, I just give up, man. I'm just like, bro, just hurry up and kill me, right? Like the gun wouldn't shoot at first. And then finally when it shoots, I get a motherfucking hit marker. I just, I swear, I just pretty much, I just gave up. I'm like, dude, just kill me so I can spawn back in and we'll just try to streak again. Like just, just get me out of this situation because my shit, my joint, ain't working so some of these problems that i brought up in this video these are things that they would be able to clean up even before launch or not long after launch these are problems that they will be able to clean up let's talk about something that i don't think they will be able to clean up it doesn't matter how long this game is out i do not think they're going to be able to fix this because i'm just trying to picture when we have better maps here right i'm trying to picture when i'm playing on high rise i like high rise i'm trying to picture when i'm playing on scrapyard afghan sub base terminal i'm picturing when we have these better maps here too in the rotation it's definitely going to help but it still doesn't stop this game from feeling soulless 
It feels like a rushed, cheap mobile game, in my opinion. Like, even the hit markers, dude. The hit markers feel like you're playing COD Mobile, bro. It's almost like they made Modern Warfare Deuce for mobile and then ported that over to console for Modern Warfare Deuce and half. But now the guns don't sound and look as great as they did in Modern Warfare Deuce. Infinity Ward makes shit-ass multiplayer games. I usually hate this new Infinity Ward team. I usually hate their multiplayer games. They are the best developer, period, at gun sounds, animations, the way they look, the way they feel. There's no dev team touching Infinity Ward for that. But they suck when it comes to actually making a fun game. It's like, can we just get a game, a multiplayer game where Treyarch made it? You know, Sledgehammer helping out Treyarch, get Infinity Ward in there to work on the guns and the way they sound and all that. And just, damn, man, just give us that. Give us a game like that every three years, we'll be good. It honestly, it feels like it almost, it feels cheap, man. It feels like a fucking mobile game over here, bro. It feels like it's like last gen not even last gen the gen before that you guys are looking at the gameplay do you think this looks great on the ps4 pro now it's going to be a different story next weekend when i'm on a newer gen console but this game just it doesn't look really good man it looks like a half-assed rush cheap mobile game like the hit marker sounds man i hate the way the hit marker sounds dude they sound like a mobile game it sounds like cod mobile man holy shit I know shit's gonna change when we get the full game and we got more streaks in here and we got more maps in here and all of that is just i don't know man we got eight streaks in this beta and so far like the only one that i've been enjoying is the sae a streak that we had in modern warfare deuce they brought the guardian over here now we got the guardian back from uh black ops 2 and wasn't even black ops 3 as well too i see a game here that i think people are gonna get bored of very quickly like, even the OGs that absolutely loved Modern Warfare 2, like, once you get your fill of these maps, I just, I see a game that people are going to get bored of, man, pretty quick. I hope I'm dead ass wrong, because there is a little bit of fun gameplay here, though, man. The mini-map works. You got your dead silence. Ghost works how it should when Treyarch fixed it back in Black Ops 2. The movement is smoother over here. It is better. It feels a little sluggish. But it's definitely better than Modern Warfare Deuce. Like, there are positives here, man. There are positives for the hardcore Call of Duty fans that just want to play a fun Call of Duty multiplayer. There is some of that here. But like I said, dude, it just... Right now, playing this first day of the beta, my first raw impressions, it just it feels soulless. It feels like it's going to get boring pretty quick. I kind of felt like I was playing X Defiant a little bit. X Defiant in the call of duty universe the only difference is x defiant will be free to play this is a full priced glorified dlc to modern warfare dudes right so it's like there's a there's a big difference there man felt a lot like x defiant with the gunplay and shit there are positives here man i just i see potentially a very boring game a game that will frustrate you but you can have fun at certain points but we'll see what it is man this is just day one you know, I'm not going to give up on it. I've had my fill on it for now. I was thinking about streaming maybe later, but now I just, I played my 10, 15 games, dude. I feel like I'm good. I'm chilling. Like, I got I got a few game plays. I don't feel like I need to play this anymore for the rest of the night, man. That's it. I've, like, what, what more can I see? What more can I do? Go over there and get killed by a camper? Some bunny hopping nerd or some shit? But that is it. That is all I got for this one. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, I'll probably be back with something tomorrow. I'll see you on the next one.